whatever. Or whoever, I should actually say. The guy who built this castle had weird taste. No, having skulls around your entrances is very normal. The view would be great from up there. The tower seems to have windows on every side. Good vantage point, indeed. Perhaps it used to be a defense tower and was later converted. Uh, maybe it just looked like that from the beginning. I don't know. But uh, let's go inside. Can't skip that. Thank you. And uh, let's go upstairs. Lamp. Something there. I can't make out from here whether the real gas lamps or electric lamps make them look old. Anywhere else, I'd be absolutely certain that there wouldn't be real gas lamps hanging from the ceiling. Not here. Stone face, randomly. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. It looks a bit like a sentinel. Hmm, well, telephone again, and just a drawers. An old fashioned telephone. An old fashioned. I don't know. Ghostbusters? We help with Samuel, I An guess. antique vase or carafe. I'll leave that where it is. It's locked. Mm, there's probably nothing special inside anyway. Alright, thanks for uh, telling me. Don't have to bother with that anymore. Bates' room. Oh, painting first. So much for the nakedness in England. Four naked girls at once here. <laughs> And the chap they're all entertaining really seems to be enjoying it. So much for the nakedness in- Alright, repeating. Have to check, have to check. Ugh, the door is locked. No shock there. Where are spades though? That's what I'm wondering. Ooh, there's a lot of air. Powder, makeup, and so on. Nothing of any use to me. Now I could say something weird like, You sure could use some makeup, you should look like shit, but uh, I won't. I like a lion's her. head. I think the lion was a symbol of immortality in ancient times. What's that got to do with a bathtub? Maybe they just like lions. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know why you just bring stuff like that up, dude. But uh, whatever. An old-fashioned bathtub doesn't look uncomfortable, but it would be too small for me. I can't see anything unusual, apart from the fact that the plug is missing. That might make it difficult to have a bath. Yeah, kind of critical. I can't see anything unusual. Hmm. A tap, like any other you might have found in this country 50 years ago. It's running. And now it's not. Okay. I can't see anything. So, I guess we have to plug that up then. You have to get something, plug the bathtub, make it run over. For what reason or purpose, I do not know yet. Curtains in the bathroom. Oh well, to each their own. Lots of roofs, alcoves, walls. I wonder how many rooms the castle has. You could easily hide Mum's little house in one of the wings. A chandelier in a bathroom. Madness. Ooh, I, was, I was expecting a lot more power from that madness, but uh, yeah, disappointing there, Darren. Nice reflection, though. What an effort it must take to keep this old tiled floor so clean. 
I can imagine Bates checking twice a day to see if any dirt accumulates in the nooks and crannies in the meantime. Is that a hint? The floor is more than clean. That is a hint, isn't it? It would be better if I didn't make a mess of the floor. I have no reason to, and Bates would be really pissed if he caught me. Hmm, not yet, so we have to do something else first. That is so comfortable. A bench in a bathroom. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know. No comment. I wonder what was going on with that mirror down there in the hall. I really thought I saw Samuel Gordon. I'll probably collapse of exhaustion when this is all over. Uh, I look tired. Uh. Covered? It's gotta be something good. A pile of towels. Small ones, big ones, nothing but towels. Pile of towels. Hmm. Okay, so that's all he does. Can we do something with towels? Make them dirty? No. Okay, I don't know what to do with towels. You know what? This feels like one of those situations where you see a bunch of puzzles, but you're missing that one piece to set the whole train in motion. It really feels like one of those moments. Hmm. Really right. not. Hmm. Also, she's gone. She's in the library now. And where's Bait still? Well, at least I guess people are moving around, so... Lady Victoria's on the phone. Let's see. Ooh. I don't know if it's him. Don't we have a photograph? Young man. It's not befitting, even for a policeman, to eavesdrop behind closed doors. I didn't mean to. Pardon me. Were they talking about me? But, but why should Lady Victoria, of all people, cooperate with the Order? She's got more of a reason than anyone else to want to put an end to the curse. Nah, there's something more going on. She is probably behind all of it. But, uh... Let's see if we can talk to Eleanor some more. What's behind the closed door over there? There was a terrible fire here 24 years ago. Samuel's wife Catherine lost her life. That wing has been closed off since then. Too many memories, I think. Did the fire start on the ground floor? No. On the first floor. The ground floor was mostly spared, as far as I know. But even the rooms below those destroyed in the fire remain closed. Bates and Victoria make sure that no one goes into them. I see. Was anyone else injured or killed? Hmm. One of the cooks was injured. As far as I know, she wanted to help and was badly burned. I'm going to have another look around. Goodbye, Lady Ellen. Is that going to be our mom? Another face in this house. Can't be, obviously. That was really stupid. Never mind. Um... Ooh, can't look in the mirror anymore. I mean, go in the library now. Oh, I don't want to disturb Lady Victoria's. Alright, let's go to the kitchen then. See if Sally's got anything new. Nothing else. Oh, garlic. Might as well. Oh, excellent. Transylvania may be somewhere in Romania. But don't worry, we're ready for undead in this castle too. Um, garlic's not really for the undead though. Well, I guess vampires aren't really, you know, alive, so... But still, vampires are not... Good day, Sally. Yes? 
undead. Um, yeah, let's go through these. Lewis said that Bates selected you for the position, not her ladyship. Yeah, that's right. There were a few candidates. The cleverest ones made for the exit as soon as they reached the gate. But if I was being honest, I thought that out of those I met, there were a few of them who were better suited to the job than I was. I was a bit surprised when he chose me. He must have been impressed by your hidden qualities. Yeah, and so now, all he does is moan about everything. He spends the whole day creeping about after me. Sally, do this, do that, don't do that. Ugh. Like being in school. Lewis seems to take care of his car rather better than the garden. That's for sure. Ever since I've been here, he's been doing something to it nearly every day. And when he's not fixing it, he's either polishing or driving around in it. Has he driven it this morning? This morning? Um, yeah, yeah, he did. I heard him starting it up. You can't help any of that. But you didn't see him. I know exactly what that car sounds like. When he's working on it, he must start at something like 20 times a day. But you weren't able to see whether or not Lewis or somebody else was driving it. Lewis is the only one who drives that car. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I won't keep you from your work any longer. Ah, don't worry about it. And back to the stables. Talk to Lewis again. Confront him. And probably get nothing out of it, but uh, still, worth a shot, right? Hey, Lewis. Oh. I totally skipped the out. Sorry about that. What is it now? Sally says that you were out in the car this morning. Sally should keep her nose in her gossip magazines where it belongs. So you didn't go out in the car this morning? I said that already. I don't believe him. Which of the old folks could have driven the car without Lewis noticing? Well, um... See you later. Not if I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so... I still don't know how to get the piece from the nest. I still don't know what the well is for. There's nothing about the well that interests me. Nothing interesting. Still the mug. Which, again, I don't know what to do with. Come on, just skip through it. God damn it. Slowly walking over them. Luckily, it's not too far, so. Uh, that's the door we can't go through. Maybe Toria got off the phone? She did. Hmm. Stuff's happened. We're probably going to uh, be attacked or something, considering the call she made. But I'm so there's no, you know, lost caller or anything uh, on these phones. An old-fashioned telephone. Let's look at the family tree now. Troy and used a spoon with the, uh, no, guess we can't. That's the Gordon's family tree. Hmm. Well, maybe now we can talk to uh, Lady Victoria. I wonder. Oh yeah, totally can. Nice. Uh, might as well ask about the locked door and she'll probably get pissed. Victoria, would you please tell me what's behind the locked door? Only an unused wing of the house. Could I have a quick look in there? No, unfortunately not. The wing is in danger of collapsing, and that's why it's closed off. For your own sake, keep well away from that wing. Absolutely. 
And I believe that for your own sake. OK. 